Domestic violence, delinquency, struggles with education, these are some of the many social issues facing our boys and men. One group is trying to inspire positive change among Tobago's boys, Women of Substance. A non-profit organization recently hosted its second boys' symposium. The symposium was aimed at empowering young students of the Signal Hill Secondary School. Women of Substance is an organization that deals with victims of domestic violence and abuse. So from our, we have our domestic violence support group. From our sit and chats, support group meetings, what we recognize is that a lot of the women will talk about how angry the men are and being a survivor myself, I understand quite well how angry my abuser was. So what we want to do is change the mindset of the young men so that in the long run we would have less abusers. The symposium focused on first for males for the project which is still in its first phase. Speakers included Sergeant Glenroy Brassi of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service, Pastor Dapo Oyinyoli, and Attorney at Law Dr. Wendell Wallace, who is also a criminology lecturer. Dr. Wallace spoke about the possible triggers of violence in males. Some of you are facing challenges. Maybe you come from broken homes where the father is absent, where you might be seeing violence at home. Right? These are some of the challenges. Gangs, sexuality, you have issues with sexuality, masculinity. You want to prove that you are a man, that you are a young man. But the way to prove that is not necessarily by being involved in a gang. The theme for this event was strengthening our boys, strong boys equal stronger men. And according to the presenters at the symposium, Attitude, self-confidence, and self-love are some of the key requirements for success. Police Constable Rundle James, a Signal Pass student, reminded the young men that their education is also critical in their future. Adults take it for granted that at your age, you are not exposed to certain things, or you're not cognizant of certain things, but that is not the truth. Everybody here is aware of what is the right thing to do, and what is the wrong thing to do. I attended the school at your age, and when I was coming here, what I concerned myself with was getting good grades. What I concerned myself with is that at the end of the year, when I leave here, at the end of my five years, that I have something, not just to show my parents, but to show for myself. The first boys symposium was held in 2017 at Roxborough Secondary School. The organization intends to host this event throughout the island's primary and secondary school. I am Marlon Gutzleben for Your Tobago Notes.